just to dance. Talking about my generation. Just because we get around. Talking about my generation. Hello everyone, a very good day to you. Welcome to yet another episode of Legends of Music with Srila Alahangama and myself. Now, you might have noticed that uh, the setup today is a little bit different. And for those of you who've been with us for the last couple of years, you might have an idea of as to why our setup is a little bit different. Yes? Yes, it's because we've got a special, very special guest on the show today. That is right. We do have a very special guest on the show today. And uh, so we're about to introduce him to you. Now, this uh, special guest who we have on our show today, he's a self-taught musician. He plays uh, the banjo. He plays six and 12 string guitars and keyboards. And I'm sure uh, and uh, multiple other instruments as well. And uh, what's special is that he performed in vocal groups that would eventually evolve into The Seekers. In the year 1962. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking of none other than Mr. Keith Potger. Hello, good day Hello, to you. Sasha. Hello, Sasha. Hello, Sri Lal. Hi. Good day to you. Good day Thank to you. Thank you very much for coming back on the show. It is my pleasure. It was lovely the first time around, and it's just gorgeous today, too, as well. Brilliant. So, uh, Keith was here, I think, on our show about... March last year. March yeah. last year, March so last there year. you go. Hmm. So, what have you been up to since then? Well, a lot more solo concerts, uh -huh. and uh, th this is back in Australia, of course, where I live nowadays, yeah. and uh, enjoying those very much. Uh, and here I am back in, uh, in Sri Lanka to, uh, to uh, be on your show and also to do another concert. Brilliant. So yeah. that's going to be happening very soon. So let's catch up with Keith and find out what uh, Keith has been up to. And apart from that, Keith will be performing several songs, that some of which are of the Seekers. Yes, some, of, some Seeker songs and some of my favourites that we can talk about as well. That's that, right. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. So let's just, uh, for those of you, we did feature the Seekers on Legends of Music. Music, when, when, when um, Keith was on the show last. Yeah. Yeah. But for those who didn't catch the show, the show, the Seekers were one of the biggest groups in USA and in, in England in the 60s. In fact, they had a song called The Carnival Is Over, which Keith will be performing today, which was the sixth biggest song, or sixth highest selling song in the UK in the whole of the 1960s, in that whole decade. Mm. There were three Beatles songs, no, four Beatles songs, and one Ken Dodd song above him, and the sixth song was the Seeker song. So they were an amazing group. They had many hits. They're the first Australian group to have hits in the USA and, and England, and the only Australian group to have hits in all three countries. Hmm. What else did you all do? <laughs> yes, well. Is that information right? Yes, I'm, I'm very interested to hear about this, actually, because <laughs> it's good. You're filling in some of the gaps for me. That, that's great. <laughs> now, we were very lucky in the 60s that, uh, that we had those, those wonderful songs to, uh, to sing and, uh, as you said, to, to be uh, pioneering, I suppose, in some ways uh, for Australian groups who then followed us uh, to the UK and to, the, to America. Yeah. And um, the very special thing about this mm -hmm. is that Keith is a Sri Lankan, or he was born in Sri Lanka, yes. or Ceylon as it was called then. Yes, Ceylon as it was called then, and Bumblepidia Hospital, which I think is still called Bumblepidia Hospital, is it? I don't or think so. <laughs> <laughs> Things have changed. <laughs> in yes. fact, in 1966, they were voted the best up-and-coming group by the New Musical Express, was that right? Yes, yeah, the top, uh, top, top. Uh, best new group. Yeah, best new group. And, uh, yeah, 1965, and, and that, was, uh, that was when we did a, a concert w at uh, the Wembley Arena, and the top of the bill were the Beatles, and then the Rolling Stones, and so we were among... Uh, the Animals and acts. Dusty Springfield. And right? Animals, Dusty Springfield, oh, you name it, they were all there, and uh, it was fantastic. And they also, you also performed at the Royal Variety Show. Royal Variety Show in, uh, in that year, in front of uh, the, the Queen Mother at that mm. stage. And uh, that was a great thrill for us as well, because uh, uh, topping the bill that time uh, were uh, Jerry Lewis and, and, uh, and Sammy Davis Jr. Mm -hmm. And uh, the orchestra was con conducted by Henry Mancini. So it was really top-notch yeah. stuff. So they've been, and then they've been twice on the 
Ed Sullivan show in yes. the US. Yeah, yeah, that was great too. When when we were having those hits in America, the Ed Sullivan show was the was the show to be on, and uh, uh, the the ones that we we appeared on, uh, we had uh, Tom Jones was also on the bill with us, and uh, and that was all great fun, great fun. Yeah. So our first song that Keith will be performing uh, for you, the first song that Keith will be performing is going to be "I'll Never Find Another You." This is by the Seekers. This is written by Tom Springfield, um, and this was the song that actually the first song by an Australian group to reach number one outside Australia. This was that song. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and uh, it was our first single and our first number one and our first million seller, so it all rolled into one. It all happened uh, that was with the fantastic. debut single, yeah. everything happened. There you go. So since we did talk about it, yeah. let's hear I'll Never Find Another You, courtesy Keith Potka. Let's go into that. There's a new world somewhere They call the promised land and I'll be there someday If you will hold my hand I still need you there beside me No matter what I do For I know I'll never find another you There is all That was Keith Potger performing here in our Legends of Music studio, I'll Never Find Another You by The Seekers. Um, the, this song was actually added into the National Film and Sound Archive of, of Australia. Australia, yeah, in 2011. Yeah. Yes, so, uh, it was certainly a groundbreaking signal, uh, single yes, for us, that's for sure. Historic yeah. kind of thing. Mm. Okay, so let's get to uh, the type of music that you like that are by other artists. Uh, we do have a song lined up that's by Ricky Nelson. Good. Well, yes, uh, when I was growing up, still in my school days, uh, and I had my first group, mm -hmm. uh, which was called the Trinamics. Uh, that was uh, when I was in, in fifth form. And um, some of the heroes of, uh, of uh, mine and, and the rest of the uh, group members were people like the Everly Brothers and, and uh, Ricky Nelson, obviously Elvis Presley as well, yeah. uh, some of those early, early groups uh, as well, Danny and the Juniors and people like that. But Rick Nelson had, had a special place uh, for me because I used to watch the, the, the TV show all the time, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, and there was uh, Ricky Nelson and his brother David. And uh, at the end of each show, uh, Ricky would sing a song. And uh, that was, I, I grew to uh, know a lot of his material and, and did that uh, as, as my solo stuff within the group. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, songs like uh, Travelin' Man and um, Hello Mary Lou. You know, so uh, Hello Mary Lou is an obvious one for me and I always do it in my act now. Yeah. Mm. 
So, um, in fact, Ricky, Ricky Nelson's going to be on our show next week. Is he? No, yeah. That's a coincidence. Yes. <laughs> Is he next week? Yeah. Oh dear. And okay, well, all the songs that you spoke of yes. are going to be played featured, on the, show. featured on the show. Well, that's, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed you call him Ricky and Rick because yes. that's something we talked about on yes. the show as well. Yes, yes. that's right. Yeah. The different eras of his, he uh, of his to life. Rick at one point, yeah. but it didn't last very long because I think Roy Orbison still kept calling him Ricky. That's right, <laughs> then he had to change it back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everyone knew him as Ricky. I think he was just trying to be a bit more sophisticated. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was much better for his fans to know him as Ricky. You know, they, they knew him like that. Yeah, so how many times do you think you've performed this song? Oh, uh, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Oh, maybe 3,000. Yeah. yeah. No, a lot. A lot. Quite a lot. Because, because I love the song. And what's more, I love the guitar solo in the, uh, in the original recording. Mm -hmm. It's by James Burton. Burton. And uh, a little known fact is that uh, I was such a fan of James Burton as a guitarist that I modelled the solo that I did in The Seeker's World of Our Own uh -huh. on James Burton's style of guitar playing. I played it on the 12-string, but nevertheless... It's, um, it's something that I used as my influence yeah. when, I, when I did the solo. Oh, wow. So, yeah, there you go. I think we're going to the song. Yes. Yeah, going to the song. We've okay. got we're wonderful information. It. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. Keith is going to be singing Hello, Mary Lou by Ricky Nelson. Hey, hello, Mary Lou. Goodbye, heart. Sweet Mary Lou, I'm so in love with you. I knew We'd never part, so hello, Mary Lou, goodbye, heart. Pass me by one sunny day, flash those big brown eyes my way, and do I wanted you forevermore. Now I'm not the one that gets around, swear my feet stuck to the ground, and though I never did meet you before. I said hello, Mary Lou Goodbye heart, sweet Mary Lou I'm so in love with you I knew Mary Lou We'd never part So hello, Mary Lou Goodbye heart I saw your lips, I heard your voice Believe me, I just had no choice While horses couldn't make me stay away I thought about a moonlit night Arms around you good and tight That's all I had to see for me to say I said hello, Mary Lou Goodbye heart, sweet Mary Lou I'm so in love with you Well I knew Mary Lou so hello, Mary Lou, goodbye heart. I said hello, Mary Lou, goodbye heart. Yes, hello, Mary Lou, goodbye heart. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is Legends of Music on TV One. Today is a very special episode because we have Keith Potger of The Seekers here in our studio with us. He'll be performing some of his original songs and some songs uh, that he loves and adores on the show as well. So, And this is the second time that you've been on our show, so thank you for that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's a real pleasure for me to be here. Oh, thank Wonderful. you so much. Yeah. Um, so this next song we're going to talk about this song, we hear that it's, it of course is an original by Keith, but we hear that it's about Sri Lanka. That's right, yes, I, um, I started writing this song uh, just after I'd been to, back to uh, Sri Lanka on a, on a visit, and uh, it just seemed to uh, come to life uh, while, I was, uh, while I was here. And I finished it off when I went back to Australia. And, uh, and actually, I've got to tell you, this is the first time I've performed it live it's it's been on one of my cds but i've never i've never performed it live on television so you you know this is my first uh, oh, time great. Of oh, doing wow. it. we get an exclusive yeah <laughs> but i wrote it it's it's called island nights and and it's it's about wanting to get back to that lovely relaxed feeling 
stress feel stress free feeling of um, of being in uh, being in Sri Lanka yeah. and uh, wandering down to the beach and just having a good time and you know and enjoying yourself. If someone stress free in Sri Lanka. <laughs> 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 at least, at least you are stress free here. <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> no, but uh, do you remember uh, which year did you write this? Was this recent? Uh, no, it was it was a few years back. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you remember where you were? Uh, well, yes, I was I was in um, the Mount Lavinia area, and mm -hmm. also down in Hikadua, and uh, yeah, and um, and also Bentota. So all that that coastal region where there are lovely uh, some beaches and and. Uh, and, and people did seem to be relaxed. That was, yeah. it was lovely. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Uh, pay attention to the lyrics of this song because mm. I really enjoyed oh, the you. lyrics of this yeah, song. Thank you. So here it is, uh, Keith Podga original. This is written about Sri Lanka <coughs> by Keith Podga, who was born in Sri Lanka. So this is Island Nights. Staring down the halls of silence leading to my lonely Lazy Island Nights, Keith Potga said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. So um, let's move on to more music. This is actually, we're going to be playing you, Keith is going to be playing you, not we. Keith is going to be playing you a song by the Seekers. This is going to be? The Carnival is Over. Mm -hmm. Now this song was written again by Rick Springfield. Tom, Tom Springfield. Tom, Tom Springfield. Tom. Ricky Tom. Nelson, Tom, and Tom Springfield. Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the Seekers biggest selling song in the UK. It sold 1.4 million, mm. 1.41 million copies. And it was the biggest selling song in the UK in 1965. Mm. It actually outsold the Beatles' Day Tripper, We Can Work It Out, which was a double A side. Double A side, yes. So they yes. actually beat, they sold more records than the Beatles' record in that whole year. Yes, yes. That was amazing. And... Um, and it was the sixth biggest record, re record in, the, in the whole decade, as mm. I said before. And uh, some of the songs that you beat out in that decade were Engelbert's Release Me, Elvis Presley's It's Now or Never, uh, Tom Jones' Green Green Grass of Home, Cliff Richard's Young Ones and Bachelor Boy, 
and the Beatles' Hey Jude. Hmm. He sold more copies than Hey Jude and From Me to You in yes. the 1960s. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Yes. Amazing. Is that something you were aware of when that no, was happening? No, I don't think so. Well, <laughs> yes. I, actually, uh, now that you mention it, uh, Sasha, the only thing that we were really aware of was while the record was climbing to its number one position, uh -huh. um, every day we'd get reports back from the record company mm -hmm. about what the sales were. And we were... Um, averaging over 90,000 mm. singles a day oh. for the week uh, prior to it rising to number one. So it had sold um, uh, several several hundred thousand uh, copies just in that one week rising up to number one. So it was, uh, it was a fantastic time for us and very, very exciting, mm. of course, because there we were, you know, on the phone. Ah, oh, yes, it's 93,000 this week, uh, today. Uh, what's tomorrow? 94,000. Uh, it's just amazing. amazing. It was really quite fantastic. And this song, I think this was, correct me if I'm wrong, this sort of became uh, a tradition f to be played at sports events. Is this yes, the Yes, yes. It, uh, it was actually uh, a Russian folk song that Tom Springfield adapted. And he put in the middle eight, the bridge section, uh, and, and, and wrote the words. Uh, and so he made it his own in that respect. But uh, people know the song as uh, a Russian folk song called Stenka Razin. And uh, it, it, it just has a very lovely, it's got a melancholy sound about it, but, but people embrace it. They really yeah. love it. And, it. and it's a very emotional song for a lot of people. Yeah. There's something that puzzles me. Judith Dalm is said to have told that this song was a favourite at weddings. It's a sad song. How yes. can it be a favourite at weddings? Uh, well, I, th I think that uh, she may have had her tongue in her cheek. At the ah, time, but, uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it, it's, uh, it is played at funerals, however. <laughs> 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 it's strange that she had actually said that. <laughs> <laughs> that is very, very funny. Yeah. Uh, we In the song, they also talk about... Well, who are the two characters? Uh, Piero oh, Piero and, and Columbine. Columbine. Who is that? Piero and Columbine. Well, it's actually Piero and Pierrette and uh, Harlequin and Columbine. Columbine. They're the Punch and Judy characters uh, in uh, those those old-fashioned old uh, shows. Uh, oh, right, uh, right. Coming from the... Puppet uh, shows. Yeah, middle, yeah right. puppet shows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so, but they're just um, characters of the theatre, and yeah. so one's a sad one, and mm. the other's a happy one, and so opposite sides. That's of the, the opposite sides of the spectrum. Yeah. There you go. So let's let's listen to um, the carnival. It's over by the Seekers. That's going to be performed by Keith Parker. Say goodbye, my own true lover, as we sing. Carnival is 
Welcome back to the show. This is Legends of Music and today we are featuring Keith Potger. We also have him in our studio today. Uh, so before the break, we actually, Keith actually played The Carnival is Over by The Seekers and that was the first time you've performed it solo. That's right. I, it's always been a group song and, yeah. um, and today, especially for you, I've worked it up into a solo. But it sounded thank great. You. Oh, thank you. It's one thank of my favorite songs anyway and, and really enjoyed <coughs> yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, it's thank a lovely so song much. anyway. Yeah. It's great. So, um, now, for those of you who've been with Legends of Music for quite a long time, you know that our sister radio station, Legends 96.6, plays music uh, that we play on Legends of Music. And you, uh, Keith, you were at Legends of uh, Legends 96.6 just yes. the other day. Yes, just a couple of days ago. And I, I spoke to the lovely Lou, and we had uh, a long session, actually. I yeah. took my guitar in, yeah. had a little sing, and... Uh, and a chat and uh, quite a few people rang in from outside and, and I was able to talk to them on the phone and, and establish a bit of contact there. It's, it's just a lovely atmosphere, the whole thing. That's You're right. very lucky to have that radio station and especially to play those uh, uh, Legends of Music uh, tracks like the 60s and 70s, etc., you know, 50s. That's right. So I think not, I think there is no better endorsement for Legends 96.6 yes, than yes, that. <laughs> it was great, yeah. So there you go. Um, we're getting to a Mary Hopkin song. Yep. Uh, well, it's, it's a, again, this is an old Russian song. Russian song. Yes. And uh, a gentleman by the name of Eugene Raskin uh, put uh, the English lyrics to it and and he uh, gave it to a group called the Limelighters, first off. The Limelighters were a, uh, were a favourite group of ours. In fact, it was from the Limelighters that we got Morning Town Ride, and, uh, oh, which, which I'll right. be doing later in the show yes. as well. Uh, but uh, that's a long story. But anyway, it's, it, this is a Russian folk song, but uh, Paul McCartney produced Mary Hopkins' uh, version. version of this song, and, and she's, uh, her version is probably the best known. But very few... Uh, men have sung the song and that's why I, I always feel it's very special I use it in my in my solo concerts all the time and uh, it's been a favorite for for many many years um, talking about Paul I keep interrupting that's you that's all right talking about Paul McCartney. Paul, Paul McCartney this song was the the first two songs that were released on the Apple label were Hey Jude and this song and this one oh yeah. right yeah and, and Paul McCartney's, uh, or the Beatles' Hey Jude, yep. spent nine weeks at number one in, in the US. Mm -hmm. And this one spent four weeks just below it. Oh. But it kicked Hey Jude off number one yep. in the UK. Oh, and it became right. number one in the UK. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So they, it was... It's this distinct. is the Mary Hopkin yeah. Yeah. version. Yeah. 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 So it was... The f one of the first two songs re released by the Apple. Oh, you know? gosh. Well, it's a great song from my point of view because uh, it gets the audience clapping and they join in. They know, you know, they, mm -hmm. they, most of them can't quite remember where they heard it, etc., or who sang it, but, but they're always clapping and <laughs> along in the choruses and things like that. It's great, really good. Lovely. So I think without further ado, let's go into uh, the performance that Keith did of Mary Hopkin, Those Were the Days. Once upon a time there was a tavern Where we used to raise a glass or two Remember how we laughed away the hours And dreamed of all the great things we would do Those were the days, my friend We thought they'd never end We'd sing and dance forever and the day We'd live the life we'd choose We'd fight and never lose For we were young And sure to have our way La 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 Those were the days Oh yes, those were the days Then the busy years went rushing by us we lost our starry notions on the way If by chance I'd see you in the tavern We'd smile at one another And we'd say Those were the days, my 
my friend We thought they'd never end We'd sing and dance forever and a day We'd live the life we choose We'd fight and never lose Oh, we were young and sure to have our way La, 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 la Those were the days Oh, yes, those were the days Just tonight I stood before the tavern Nothing seemed the way it used to be In the glass I saw a strange reflection Was that lonely person really me? Those were the days, my friend We thought they'd never end We'd sing and dance forever and a day We'd live the life we choose We'd fight and never lose For we were young and sure to have our way La 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 Those were the days Oh yes, those were the days Through the door there came familiar laughter I saw your face and heard you call my name Oh my friend, we're older but no wiser For in our hearts the dream is still the same Keith Parker performing, those were the days. Do you have, do you remember when you first heard this song? Do you remember, have memories attached to this song? Yes, I, uh, I was uh, very, very keen on the Mary Hopkin version uh -huh. and uh, the fact that Paul McCartney had, uh, had produced it was an extra connection for me uh, because I, I think he's a very talented person, obviously. Uh, but uh, it, it just had a lovely ebb and flow, the whole, uh, the whole song, the way it, um, the way it went. And, and I've heard some Russian army choirs uh, sing it as well. And it's, it's quite, a, quite an emotional song. And then they, you know, they get going and, and there's a lot, of, um, a lot of that feel of emotion that Gene Raskin managed to get into the yeah. English mm -hmm. lyric, you know, about people being, you know, friends and being able to uh, meet their friends yeah. later on after a long period. Yeah. And, uh, it gives a very nostalgic feel. Nostalgia is a good yeah. word, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, Daydream Believer, Ooh. The Monkeys. Yeah. Tell us about this one. Tell us why you picked this song. Well, John Stewart, the writer of the song, uh, was uh, a great hero to me because he was in a group called the Kingston Trio. That was the first time I became aware of him when he uh, stepped in to take Dave Gard's place in the Kingston Trio. And he was a very fine banjo player and, and, uh, and singer. And he, he, uh, he wrote a couple of songs uh, that... Um, there was Armstrong, the man who w walked on the moon. That was that was a, uh, a great favourite of mine, and the monkeys were around at the at the time that um, uh, we were putting together the New Seekers, and so this was in the late uh, '60s, and uh, somehow the two things meshed, and and they had this they had this hit with Daydream Believer, and I thought, oh, that's a fantastic song. Mm -hmm. I love the chords, I love the harmonies, and things like that. And then um, I, I saw an interview with John Stewart, and I realised that the monkeys had changed his lyrics. And um, so I went back to John Stewart's original version, and I learned that. And so the the, uh, the lyrics that I want to perform yeah. uh, today are, are, uh, are John Stewart's original lyrics. And uh, so I think we were talking about it. Uh, One of the main lines is <coughs> the line says, um, "What did it say?" Now you know how happy I can be. Yeah, in the, the monkey's version. The monkey's version. But the real version was funky I can yeah. be. Yeah. And Davy Jones says that, uh, oh, not Davy, Mike, Mike Dolans, the, Mike the drummer. Nesmith. Mickey yeah. Dolans, yeah. Mickey Dolans says yeah. funky meant oily and greasy and sexy. <laughs> and the record company weren't going to, have any, weren't going to let any of us say that. Yeah. <laughs> so but I don't think funky is thought of like that nowadays, is it? No, no. No, it's, it's very clean compared yes, to music. Yeah, it's, it means gritty and, and down to earth, really. Funky, yeah. down to earth, yeah. 
Uh, anyway, that's, that, that was it. I, I'm, I'm a bit of a stickler for, uh, for that sort of thing, uh, where I like to get back to the original uh, lyrics and, and go back to the original version of it, the person yeah. who wrote the song, you yeah. know. And it's find how it was intended to be Well, that's, that sort of thing, yeah. So the way people change uh, Bob Dylan's words and things like that, you know, you get back to what he was originally singing, if you can understand what he was singing about. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> <It's another laughs> yeah. Lovely. So let's hear it. This is uh, Daydream Believer Daydream. by The Monkees, performed yeah. by Keith Parker. If I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings A six o'clock alarm would never ring But it rings and I rise Wipe the sleep out of my eyes My shaving razor's old and it's ding can be for our good time start and end with our dollar one to spend how much baby do we really need cheer up sleepy G oh what can it mean to us a daydream believer and a, a homecoming queen. A cheer up sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean now to a, a daydream? Welcome back to the show. This is Legends of Music. We have Keith Potka in the house, ladies and gentlemen, from the Seekers. Uh, we did mention the new Seekers, I think, in, the, in our last segment. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to the new Seekers, you, you were, I think, one of the main people who sort of led the, the new Seekers being formed. Yes, that's right. In, um, in 1969, that was a year after the original group broke right. up, uh, my business partner, David Joseph, and I uh, were looking to uh, get me uh, on the road as a solo artist mm -hmm. and we wanted to get a backing group together. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, anyway, uh, that whole idea then morphed into us creating the New Seekers because we realised, well, there's pointless uh, having a backing band. Uh, we may as well get them to, to do something. Yeah, and, and people so already knew the Seekers. Exactly, and so uh, we auditioned... Uh, quite a few people and uh, we put together the group but this time it featured two female leads and three boys and so that was the New Seekers and I performed with them for about six months I think just to introduce them to mm -hmm. the to the uh, audience in, mm -hmm. in the UK that's where we were based at that time and then I dropped out and, and the group started to have its own success anyway uh, the first hit that they had was uh, look what they've done to my song Ma yeah. Then they had Never Ending Love, and of course the biggest hit was, was I'd Like to Teach the World mm -hmm. to Sing, which the the, uh, the jingle for a soft drink beverage. Yeah, Country Roads, Country that's Roads. our next pick. Yeah. Any special memories attached to this one? Uh, the, the special memory of, of this is that, that I became aware of, um, of John Denver uh, because uh, Peter, Paul and Mary were recording some of his uh, songs when he was still... Uh, John um, Duchendorf, 
uh, and he was convinced to change his name to, to Dem. yeah, Dem, uh, and uh, I became aware of him as a, as a songwriter. And then uh, he started uh, producing his own albums. And the coincidence of that was that when we had a, uh, another lineup of the Seekers, this was in the mid 70s, um, when we had a lead singer by the name of Louisa Whistling, it was Ethel Guy, Bruce Woodley, myself, and Louisa. And we approached Milton Oaken, who was John Denver's producer at that time, to produce the group. And unfortunately, he was so committed with all his... He was producing uh, 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 John Denver, uh, and, and he was also... He also did, some, did quite a lot of work with Peter, Paul and Mary. And anyway, he was just too busy. And, mm -hmm. and he said, good luck and, and, uh, and go away. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, that then, of course, knowing uh, the, the legend that John Denver created for himself with all those songs, like uh, Leaving on a Jet Plane, and those songs that Peter, Paul and Mary took into the, into the hit parades, then he followed that up with his own versions. And, uh, of course, they became... Uh, famous as well, so Calypso and things like that, you know, wonderful mm -hmm. songs. You know that John Denver had never been to West Virginia, nor oh, had the right. two people who wrote the song. Really? He did this yeah. on his show. And oh. there's more, I think, similarities about what he's, they're singing to, not West Virginia, but another part of... Yeah, what happened was the, the two, they, they were husband and wife at the time. Yeah, Bill Danoff and Taffy Nibbett. Yeah. Yeah. And, mm. and they were driving in Maryland ah. on some winding roads. Oh, yes. And that's when he thought of writing it. And he right. was actually going, to, he was thinking of Massachusetts ah, yeah. or West Virginia because they both, both had four syllables and right. fitted into the meter of the song. Okay. Yeah. And then they chose West, West Virginia. West Virginia. And the Blue Ridge Mountains yep. are at the border between Virginia and West Virginia. Right. But they have only a few miles yes. where they are actually part of the border. Uh -huh. So they're not in West Virginia, they're in Virginia. Right. And the Shenandoah River yes. were just, uh, just goes past in the edge right. of, of West Virginia okay. because it starts in Virginia. It's, all its sources yeah. were in Virginia. Mm. But they, <laughs> they just used those words. They'd never been there before the song was written. Yeah. Imagine if it was uh, Massachusetts. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the Bee Gees came along and wrote, uh, wrote a song. Massachusetts. Well, perhaps they wanted to call it West Virginia. Yeah. Originally. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, West Virginia. West Virginia. <laughs> Brilliant. So here is Keith Potger singing uh, Take Me Home, Country Roads. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River Life is old there, older than the trees Younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze Country roads, take me home to the place Where I belong, West Virginia Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. All my memories gather round her, Midas Lady, stranger to the water. Dark and dusty, faded on the sky, a misty taste of moon. A teardrop in my eye Country road Take me home To the place Where I belong oh, West Virginia My mama Take me home Country road I hear her voice in the morning hour she calls me The radio reminds me of my home Far away and driving down the road I get a feeling that I should have been home Yesterday, yesterday Country roads take me home To the place where I belong Mama, take me home.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We've been speaking to Keith Potga on the show today. We still uh, have to catch up on what's sort of happening these days. So Keith Potga has been keeping us company, performing for you on Legends of Music. Um, what are you doing these days? What are you doing in Sri Lanka? Um, what's new? What can we expect? Well, I'm concentrating on uh, my solo concerts and directly I get back from Sri Lanka, I shall be uh, going on the road in South Australia and performing. I've got eight uh, solo concerts there in South Australia and then uh, settling into some recording. Mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned, uh, some of my original songs that I want to uh, get together for a, for a forthcoming uh, CD. But while I'm in, in uh, Sri Lanka, uh, I've been lucky enough to be on 96.6 FM and, uh, and also to do your lovely show. And also I've got a concert coming up. Yeah. on um, Friday the 5th of October and there's some details on my Facebook page about that so if anyone wants to see me live and, and do uh, be part of the audience then uh, just check out my Facebook page for that information uh, but it's all good it's really uh, very enjoyable I'm, uh, I'm just having a, a wonderful time uh, singing and playing and, and writing. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Uh, we really enjoyed the music. Well, I think uh, Mrs. Sheila Hangerman and I both really yes, enjoyed the music. Oh, really that's great. Action. And it's been a joy actually doing some songs for you that, uh, that I've never done before or yeah. I've ch changed the uh, arrangements especially for, for this particular show because you've always been so, so helpful to me. So yeah, thank very you. Very honoured to have much. him performing some songs for the first time yeah. on our show. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's it. Yeah. Great. Keith, thank you so much for you. being on the show. And also, just reminding you to follow Keith on uh, Facebook and social media and all of that. You'll find all details about how you can hopefully watch him. Yeah, yeah there Great. you go. Anything to add, Mr. Ahangama? <laughs> nope. I really enjoyed the show. Thanks a lot, Keith, for being with us for my the second pleasure. time. And we hope to see you again. Please Indeed. come back for the third. Yes, I'll, I'll do my best. Yes, I'll write another song about uh, Sri Lanka. Yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Makes a sleepy noise Underneath their blankets Go all the girls and boys Rock and roll and ride Out along Sandman swings the lantern to show that all is well. Rocking, rolling, riding out along the bay, all bound for morning town, many miles away. Maybe it is raining. Where our train will ride All the little travelers Are warm and snug inside Rock 